you guys came out early. Uh, we just want to bring the physicality um, to them and kind of be uh, the team that knocks them back. And I feel like we did that uh, and obviously opened up the game um, that way and um, hit them in the mouth in the third quarter too. So um, th those are kind of what we wanted to do. And um, obviously we got we were able to get some rest for guys that normally play a lot. Still waiting for the Laker game to go final, but it looks like it's going to be a Kings-Warriors rematch in the, in the first playing game. You're obviously very familiar with that team. I know you have a day to prepare, but I guess your first thoughts or first impressions on basically a Game 7 rematch here in Sacramento. Yeah, I mean, it's close to the same team we played last year. Uh, I think we split the series with them this year, but uh, it's going to be really competitive like it always is. A uh, really fun matchup. Um, so we're, we're all excited. I'm sure they're excited too. Uh, Keegan, what do you think, um, you know, you, you as the nine, like, you know, you're going to have to win two games. Uh, to, so just what do you think of the format and, and kind of the challenge, like, in front of you um, and, and how tough that might be to, to get through to get to the playoffs? Uh, I know, like, as a fan watching the play-in, uh, it's always fun uh, just to be able to kind of see if, like, a nine or ten seed is able to get into the playoffs and things like that. So um, as a fan, it's really fun as a player. If you get, like, a seven, eight seed, I know you're just like, I just – I just want to get to the playoffs, but um, everyone gets an opportunity um, if you're a couple games out. So um, if you're a nine or ten, you should have to try and take advantage of it. The game's not final with the Lakers and the Pelicans, but it looks like that you guys will be facing the Warriors in the first round of the play-in. Smile right there says it all. I know in the offseason you said, hey, I want to be able to be able to play in these games. The fact that you guys get these guys again and then you get to have a significant role in that game on Tuesday, just what's your early thoughts? Yeah, um, I mean, it's exciting. Uh, we get to get our little payback um, from last year. Um, we know they're going to come here with energy because uh, we play at a home game. It's going to be loud. Uh, it's going to be physical. But I think we're ready for it. I mean, the whole year, I think we prepared ourselves for it, um, playing physical on both ends of the floor, and I think we'll be ready. Davion, we've asked you a couple of times in the past about finding your niche on this team, and it seems like somewhere around the All-Star break, you did. Do you feel that, that all of a sudden you know who you are for this team and what your role is and what you're supposed to do? Yes. Um, I had plenty of conversations with my coach, Coach Brown and, um, and the coaching staff about my role. Um, I think it got bigger after Malik went down. and I mean, I think I prepared myself throughout the All-Star break, um, throughout the offseason for, for, this, for this moment. David, uh, getting back to that play-in situation, this this is a one and done, so this is a different dynamic, you know, than playing a you know seven-game series. What, what are y'all thoughts about that, you know, and, and being focused just for that one game, knowing that you know it can go either way? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's one game. Uh, it's kind of anybody's game at that point. Um, no, we just got to hit shots, play physical. Uh, we know that the refs not gonna call anything throughout that game just because the, the the rival we have between each between each other. Um, but I think we'll be ready for it, man. I think that um, I mean coming in, knowing that we want to play the Warriors, we lost that game seven. We kind of we kind of tricked that one off, and then the next year we get to see him again. I mean, it's a fun moment. Even before Malik's injury, Davion, we started seeing more of the three-guard lineups with you staggering with Monk at times, with De'Aaron, with Keon. Just curious your opinion on, on playing with multiple guard lineups or three-guard lineups. That might be something new that the Warriors haven't seen you from you guys yet. Yeah, I think that um, – I mean, I think they worked out. I think we'll be able to play fast. Um, I mean, especially defensively, we can switch. Um, we can help each other out, um, get downhill, make plays, shoot the ball. I mean, little things like that. Um, I mean, we just try to make the game simple throughout the whole day. Davion, uh, you're you know you're a defensive guy. It's kind of where where you've hung your hat. To to see where you guys are now defensively, uh, compared to where you came from, and and you know how you might match up and be able to deploy that against the Warriors. Like, just give us your assessment of what you guys are doing well and and on defense, and and how much that might change uh, the game against the Warriors. I think covering for one another, co covering for one another. Um, I think we're kind of on the string defensively, um, helping each other out. I mean, even if the, if I get a backdoor cut, somebody beats me. So you have my teammate helping. Um, I think over at the beginning of the year, if I got backdoor, it'll be like a layup or something like something easy like that. So I think covering one another, talking and being physical. Um, I mean, we haven't played them since the beginning of the season, so it's going to be a, a lot different than what they see. Uh, in a nutshell, I thought. Uh, we came and, and, and we took care of business. We did what we could to control the little bit of control that we had over our destiny. We got it done, and, and now we know who, we, uh, who we're going to play. We just got to go out and, 
execute and try to get a win. Mike, what's your initial thoughts on having a rematch with the Warriors, a nice Game 7 type type of game back here on Tuesday night at the Golden 1 Center? No, we, we welcome anybody that's in front of us. Um, we're just excited about an opportunity uh, to play. And, and again, you know, situations like this, uh, we as a group right now haven't been uh, through. And so to, to go play one game right now, that's how I look at it, and swing for the fences, and try to get a win. It's a great opportunity for us to go do it while trying to move on and growing in the same breath. Mike, uh, I guess when it comes to this win tonight, you know, maybe Portland isn't, didn't put out the best product to go up against, but how much did you guys kind of need some sort of positive momentum after the last like week and a half? Uh, a ton. It's always good to get a win, especially when uh, we've had a couple of heartbreak losses like we um, like we had in the past week, week and a half. And so to uh, go out and, and, you know, one of the things that we talked about was uh, was playing with the level of physicality at the beginning of the game and trying to retain that level or stay at that level the whole game because when you play against a young team, um, <clears throat> if they see the ball go in the hole early on, um, their confidence is going to grow, and anything can happen during the course of a game if you give somebody belief or confidence, especially right off the bat. So for us to be able to go take care of business and um, and keep our foot on the gra on the gas uh, was much needed. Uh, Mike, you've been trying uh, for two years to get this team to a certain place defensively. Um, this is probably the first time you know you're going to see the Warriors since you've you've kind of made a big step in that direction. How, how different could that make uh, this matchup with them? And, and what, you know, do you, do you anticipate you guys might be able to pose some different kind of problems uh, for them than you have in the past? Well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to defend because, uh, you know, they have a lot of firepower offensively and the firepower offensively has won championships, not the championship, but championships. And so uh, they're used to scoring with the best. Um, you know, they're used to being in pressure situations. And, you know, for us, uh, we can't have the mindset where we're going to go out and score 120, 125 points and uh, think we're going to beat them that way, especially minus Malik and, and, and Kevin. So we have to bring a level of physicality to the game on the defense end of the floor uh, and then try to get easy opportunities in transition uh, by getting stops. And uh, hopefully uh, our defense is to a point where our guys believe in it. I, well, I feel they do believe in it, but hopefully we can execute it for as close to 48 minutes as possible. Coach, I don't mean to drag you into a rabbit hole of semantics, but do you consider being in the play-in tournament an accomplishment? Uh, I, I think, you know, anything to get to the postseason um, is something to be excited about. Now, are we disappointed? Do we, we prefer to finish first? Hell yeah. Second, yes. You know, any of that is better than finishing seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. But um, f for our guys to kind of go through what they what they went through and and fight and continue because we could have cast it in a, a long time ago and some of our losses down the stretch, you know, they were good teams and uh, our guys fought. They never threw the towel in and you know it, it hurts and it, I'm glad that it hurts. I'm glad that it bothered us because that's usually when you grow the most. So anytime you can play after your last regular season game, it's a positive. But it's, again, I'm not trying to say, hey, yes, this is the best thing ever because we wanted more and we didn't get more, but it's okay. We're on the path or journey that we're on. Let's freaking go get it. Building off that a little bit, Mike. I imagine your opinion is influenced by Sorry. finishing. Uh, I imagine your opinion is influenced by finishing ninth. But what's your overall opinion of the play-in tournament? It's still relatively new, relatively fresh here in the NBA. Games that didn't exist a handful of years ago now exist and are happening uh, on on Tuesday. So, what's your just overall opinion of the play-in tournament being added to the NBA? You know, at, at first, I guess I'm like everybody. When it, when it, when they first brought it up, I was like, "Man, this is just, this is not it's no good, whatever." And after you watch it the first year, you watch it the second year, and you understand it more. And I've 
I'm on record saying this. At first, I was like, no. But then after the first year or two, I'm like, hey, this is pretty neat. You know, it's, I think it's a pretty neat deal. It adds a twist to the whole thing. And obviously, um, the NBA got exactly what they wanted from it this year with everybody you know, going down the stretch of the end of the season, fighting their tails off, you know, for that sixth spot, for that fifth spot. And, and uh, they had some good games because of, because of it. Probably the TV ratings were good because of it down the stretch. So, um, like I said before, it's, it's a good thing. And uh, not not just for the team, you know, players and coaches, but it's a, it's a good thing for you guys as media and for the fans as well. Coach, when you um... – how do you uh, view, you know, that the fact that you only have like one shot, one one game, you can move on, one defeat, you know, that's the end of the season, because that kind of changes, you know, the whole dynamics of the thing. Oh, I mean, I I, I like it, uh, I like it because we haven't faced it yet, <laughs> you know, and that's what's exciting to me, is. Okay, what are we made of? You know, can we go get this done? Especially versus a team that knocked us out last year, a team that 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 has four or five championships and championship level t- uh, coaching staff. Can we go get it done in this type of environment? Because it's a different type of pressure than a seven game series. Because you know, if you drop one, you still got it. You're gonna have another opportunity. You don't have no other opportunity here. You got to go get this one. And so it takes a different level of focus, a different level of confidence or belief uh, going into the game, and for sure a different level of execution throughout the course of the game on both sides of the floor. So uh, I, I, I like it, and I, I truly feel our guys will embrace it. From what you've seen, uh, how different is Golden State with all the young guys they're playing than last time you faced them in the postseason or even earlier this year? Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I know their record probably doesn't speak of it, but I, I, I think they're better because they, they, for the most part, they have the same guys as they had last year. Um, but their young guys have improved, and they've improved because they got uh, they've got significant playing time. And so I, I, I think they're a better team than than last year, based on them still having the same cast. Um, you know, adding a, a guy like Chris Paul, who we all know can play the game, and then their young guys getting uh, real game experience throughout the course of the season. Right here. Coach, uh, having a Game 7 experience like you did against the Warriors last year here, does that help at all Tuesday or just two separate years? Uh, you know, everything helps. And, you know, playing in that Game 7, feeling it, uh, it, it does help uh, to a certain degree. And it, it helps because, you know, as long as you have the same nucleus for the most part and you got the same coaching staff, um, you know, anything that you go through, uh, you get to experience growth. It's a little funky, a little different for us. Like Keon didn't experience it last year, and he's – He's a big part of what what we're doing, so um, it, it'll be great for him and you know Davion Keegan to get another crack at it as a second year player. I, it, it's it's gonna it's it's great for all those young guys to get a taste of it, but it does help to a certain degree that we went to a game seven last year and experienced that for sure. Mike, you just talked about growth there, and you've talked about that a lot during the regular season. Um, what are some things you think you guys have learned this regular season? Um, that, that's it. That's the end of the question. What, what, what have we? Yeah. What, what are some of the ways your team has grown and things? Uh, things you guys have learned this year? Ah, oh, for 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 sure. It, it, going through this year has given us a taste of what it means to play to to try to play at a high level, knowing you have expectations not just from yourself, but from the media, from your fans, from the public. Uh, dealing with it um, can be a roller coaster if you're not used to being in the position <coughs> of uh, of a playoff team and dealing with it year two. So I think uh, that's definitely going to help us going forward. Um, having the next uh, next man up mindset based off the injuries, uh, knowing that hey, this guy goes down like Foxy did. 
and Keon stepped in and we beat a really good Oklahoma City Thunder team here or on the road, Foxy goes down and we beat a really good Minnesota Timberwolves team in their building. But knowing that um, injuries should not, not, not be a concern, but if we do have injuries, the next guy has to step up and we have to do it collectively. We could be good enough if everybody is connected and buys into the process, we can be good enough to beat anybody. And and then the last thing, and, and you know, obviously I have more time to reflect on this as as the days go on. But the last thing is understanding that we can win different ways. We, you know, we don't always have to think we need to go out and and uh, you know make 23s and, and score 125 points, um, sometimes you can get a win if that ball's not going in the hole. And we don't have control over the ball going in the hole all the time. So let's make sure we understand how can we get a win on that, that given night. And I think our guys have embraced it, and that's what's helped us defensively because I, I do think they believe that if we get stops, and we win the possession game, um, we're good enough to get ourselves an opportunity, give ourselves an opportunity to win against anybody in this league on any given night.